The Elite Dangerous Odyssey DLC gets a lot of bad reputation for its boring on-foot missions. At first, I had the same reaction to those FPS missions. The combat was terrible, the enemy AI was outdated, and to top it all off, the mission rewards were awful. Recently, I decided to give it another try. And, this time, I tried to play those missions differently. Instead of running and gunning, I decided to play these missions in stealth. And, to my surprise, it was a lot of fun. There are two ways you can play on foot missions as a stealth ninja. One is where you always stick to the roofs of the buildings. It's the fastest and easiest way to complete missions. But it's not the most fun method. I prefer sneaking past the guards and stealing all the illegal supplies like a true ninja. There's something really exciting about playing these missions in stealth. And things get even more exciting when you try to break into buildings and steal supplies without being detected. The challenge is getting back to your ship with those illegal supplies without being scanned by the guards. Hold still until we're done. It won't take long, just a quick scan. Yeah, I thought commanders always respected the law. I got more than a few bounties trying to play missions this way. And died more than a few times. But I kept going back because it was a lot of fun. It's especially a great way to take a break from other usual activities in the game. I know these missions aren't perfect. And they don't even come close to gameplay quality of other FPS games. But keep in mind that Elite Dangerous is a space simulator. And having these FPS missions in a space sim is truly something special. I always do my best to try and find ways to enjoy a game rather than complaining about them. And I hope you'll also come up with creative ways to enjoy the parts of the game that you don't like. Or at least give them a second try. Do you enjoy playing on foot missions in Elite? Let us know in the comments. See you next time.